First thing you have to do is think about what it is you want for the future. What it is you want for the future. And that's the first thing that I talk about. We talk about goal setting on the first part of the course. And the reason that is important is because you have to be moving towards something. You have to have an idea of what it is you want. You have to define that. You have to make goals out of it. Long-term goals are where you want to be and short-term goals so that you can have structured progress milestones in place you know that you're headed in the right direction to get into where you want to be and the reason you got to have this done is because if you don't have a target you end up way over there before you even realize hey this what am what am i doing and that's exactly what i was thinking but okay so then once you have determined a target now you need to think about why why is this a target? Why is it important to you? You know, and once you think about that, you have to, if you can't give yourself a good answer, it's not meaningful, it doesn't really matter, it feels superficial, then you need to have another target. You need to re, you need to go back again and set your goals differently because it should be meaningful. It should be fulfilling to have accomplished them. So now, after you have uh, established your why, it's either going to motivate you and empower you, cause you to wake up every morning excited and energized, or you're going to second guess yourself. If you're second guessing yourself, you need to establish a different goal. Now, you need to visualize yourself achieving that goal. Visualize yourself achieving that meaningful goal that you have set. I want you to feel the way that you will feel. And then the next thing that we talk about is, so then you want to establish some daily habits that's going to help you to move forward. Okay, so that's the first section. I'm not going to go into great detail here. That's something good for you. There's a lot more to that. We talk about visualization. We talk about your daily habits. I call it the yin and the yang. You'll find out why in the course. The next group of material in the course is about your passion. We talk about leverage, leveraging your passion because your passions are going to motivate you for moving forward, but they can also motivate you in other ways like bringing in extra income. So I'll talk about that and I'll go into some ways that you can use the internet in order to make money with your passion. So that's another section. And then another section is called creating the environment for its success and what's significant about that is when we talk about the environment by default we tend to think about you know the people we are around and the, or the neighborhood and that's true that is our environment but it's much deeper than that you talk about what you see what you hear what you taste um, the five senses are included with your environment all five senses are connected to a receptor that brings in information from around you so we're not going to get real deep into that right now but that's creating the environment for success then we talk about relationships relationships that's uh i love talking about relationships but two aspects of relationships to summarize i talk about choosing the right partner because that's very important and there, there should be some standards and things that you consider and then we talk about managing relationships as well because you are already if you're not single then you're already in a relationship and there are some common things that I see with that one thing that I like to point out is in case you don't get the product one thing I like to point out is you need to be mindful that you and your spouse or partner are from different backgrounds you had different experiences and so you filter things differently you communicate differently it's possible you communicate differently that's one of the things you got to pay attention to and so you need to try to calibrate to get on the same page, you know. Understand that when a person says something to you, your significant other says something to you, don't be so quick to judge it based on your past experience. Try to understand it from that person's point of view. Ask questions, communicate. I get further into that, of course, in the course. But that's something for you to marinate on. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself then there's many ways to invest in yourself. Time, obviously. So what do you do in your free time? 
Are you investing it in yourself or are you wasting too much of it? We'll, t we'll talk about that. You probably got some ideas right now, but I go deep into that. There's different levels of investing in yourself. There's different ways to invest in yourself. And I go through all of that. Another thing that I talk about is parenting. Parenting. Um, I talk about being proactive. I'm talking about looking at it. Well, the same way we're talking about this information here, that's how I present approaching parenting. Suppose that in your parenting style, it included helping your child to... I'll say this. Suppose you ask yourself, what is it that if I was taught as a kid that would have benefited me as a parent? If you think about that, then it'll give you some good ideas. But I go into detail about the different things that you might consider. Now, another thing is uh, being action bias, being action bias. When you talk about being action bias, the opposite of that is procrastinating. You have to act on the thoughts you have. You have to act on this information that you're getting. You can't just keep thinking about it and over and over and over and over. You have to do something with it. And so we get into that. Why are people, why do people procrastinate? Why are we reluctant to take action? Because once you understand that and you have insight on that and you think about that, thinking about your thinking, metacognition, once you examine that, it helps you to be more action biased. It helps you to do things instead of putting it off and procrastinating. And we talk about some other things that include other people, like establishing an accountability partner. And then we talk about expanding your network. When you expand your network, then it gives you more opportunities to do different things. So that's it. It's been long enough. And I'm going to call it a day. I got to go get my clothes. It's starting to get hot in here with the window up. And um, you have information already based on the video footage that's on this page to help you go in a better direction or to help you increase your level of traction or improve your traction in getting toward the goals. So I hope you will do something useful with this information. And I'm telling you, if you like what I've said so far, you're going to really love the course. It makes a great Christmas gift. You should get three, four, five, ten. <laughs> and thank you all for watching and have a great day. Peace. If you do all the activities, this is a workshop. So there's activities. You need pen, you need pen and paper or pencil and paper. I think a lot of it. It makes a perfect Christmas gift. It has the potential to change somebody's life.